Hey everybody, welcome back to Wigs with Scarlet. Today I'm doing a wig review for this cute little number called Crowd Pleaser by Raquel Welch. As you know, I work in collaboration with Cloud9 Wigs. Please check out their website and feel free to shop with them seven days a week with code SCARLET30 to get 30% off and free shipping. We love to support our small businesses. So as always, if you like what I'm doing here, if you enjoy my content, please, please, please subscribe to my channel. And this really fun little number, coming right up for a wig review. everyone today I am reviewing this adorable little wig by Raquel Welch called crowd pleaser in the color cinnabar crowd pleaser is a crowd pleaser this is one of their most popular styles and it's really fun it's got a lot of curl it is layered and short enough that you won't get tangling so it really serves a lot of purposes first I just want to show you the wig at all angles from all different sides so this is the front left side back, right side, and the front. All right, now we'll say I struggled a little bit with the curl pattern when I got it out of the box, and I haven't done a lot of styling to it because I wanted you to see how it looks out of the box. Um, I did kind of try to do a little bit with the bottom pieces that were just kind of going um, I do think it has the potential to be absolutely adorable. I think a little work needs to be done on the curl pattern for me, for my personal preference, because I feel like the curls go kind of one way here and they look different over here. So that's just my personal opinion. And as you know, there can be variations, actually a lot of variation when you get wigs. Um, you may get one wig um, in a style and get the same style and the wig will have a completely different curl pattern. So this may not be how they all look. This is the one I got, the one I'm reviewing, and I'm always gonna keep it 100% real with you that I did struggle a little bit with the curl pattern on this one. Um, it, as always, has a, a beautiful, beautiful hairline. So let's get up close on that. That signature Raquel Welch hairline. These are their heat-friendly, true-to-life fibers that you can heat. And like I said, work on that curl pattern or even straighten, if, straighten it if you like. So the dimensions on Crowd Pleaser, you have a uh, 6.5 crown, kind of like a, sw a side swipe bang right here. And I like, a, I like a side swipe bang. And it's not a face flopper. I always like a wig that's not flopping in my face. I mean, that is a plus, right? So 6.5 here. On the side, you have seven, some layers of seven inches. The back is 6.5. The crown is 10. And the nape is 4.25. This is a rather low density wig. It's described as low to medium. I would say it's pretty low density um, with a weight of 3.25 ounces, so not super duper heavy. All right, so we are going to get into the color. This is one of their reds. Um, before that though, little styling options. You could put little clips. You could do a little headband and bring down some pieces. So there's definitely some things you can do with this cute little number. But because it's not a, a face flopper, you don't have to do those things, which is always great. You have options. So um, this is Cinnabar. Cinnabar is a blend of a chestnut brown and auburn. It is not a rooted piece um, and it is a very subtle red. So I would say it is a subtle red and depending what light you're in, it would look more brown or more red. So the more natural light you have, the more red it'll probably look. If you're in like fluorescent lights in the house and when it's dark outside, it's probably gonna look more brown. So you wanna just kind of keep that in mind. Um, it's a, it, The chestnut brown is not a super dark brown. Like I definitely think I can pull off this color even though I'm quite fair. I feel like the color I could pull it off and I don't, I don't wear anything super dark. So just kind of keep that in mind on the levels of the color because color is hard to see. Um, on screens. It always looks different on a screen. No matter what we try to do with giving you outside lighting, inside lighting, good lighting, it still kind of always can look different when you actually get it. Just kind of the way it is. Hard to see color on a screen. All right, so let's talk about the cap. Take the cap off and talk to you about the cap. 
So this is their memory cap and you have the open wefted back with the Velcro adjusters here. Nice soft felt ear tabs on both sides. And of course you have a full lace front that goes, um, it, not, it doesn't go all the way to the ear tabs, it's the five, five by five lace front. And then you have your left side monofilament part, so you aren't gonna have to be open to parting on the left which is what I prefer. So I always love a left monofilament part, but not everybody does. Some people want to part in the middle or have options to change the part. Um, so that is the cap. And what I do as always is I'm going to try to give you a little more on the color by showing you color in some different lighting, especially with the red. In fact, I'm going to do something a little different here that I, um, that I haven't done before. I'm actually gonna show you this color in some fluorescent light as well. Sorry about the hand there. Um, not that I love fluorescent lighting because it shows more age, but um, so this is fluorescent lighting, bathroom fluorescent lighting. Okay. And I get a lot of sun in my, in my house. You see, I have a lot of windows. So this is a lot of natural light here, even though it's not a super sunny day at all not a super sunny day i always say this is the best place to see color you know you see me repeat this <laughs> in every one of my videos but i get the best color standing right in front of my slider you can really see those red tones there and outdoor Ooh, i got a nice little burst of sun even though it was a cloudy day just for you guys so you can really really see those red hues when you hit the sun look at that it looks so red when it hits the sun. Really cute, it has a lot of variations depending on what kind of lighting you're in, which I guess you would say is true with all color, but really true with reds. Reds can really, really change based on your, based on your lighting, maybe more so than any other color. All right, guys, well, I hope that seeing this wig on me and, and seeing the dimensions and how it's styled and the color, if you're thinking of buying a, a, a different wig in Cinnabar, hopefully all those different lightings uh, were helpful to you. If you're thinking about a crowd, crowd pleaser in any color, maybe seeing it on me and having me talk a little bit about it was helpful to you. Again, if you find my content helpful, please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.